to demonstrate today is um, the fittings that you can and can't use for these quick spray high pressure units. This fitting here, if you can see that there, that's called a swaged on fitting and that's perfectly okay. That's a proper hydraulic fitting. So if your unit's got that on it, you can leave it on, no fear of it coming off. What we don't want to see is something like this. If you've got a unit that, where this hose is connected to this handle with either one or two you know, car type of clamps like this. Um, they're not safe, they'll pop off and they need to go. You need to take them off straight away and put something else on that's suitable and high pressure. The other thing we don't want to see is one like this. This is called a bandit clamp. You can tell they're quite a bit thinner than the swaged on fittings we looked at and they're clamped on with a with a big set of um, type of pliers but they're good for low pressure hoses but they're no good for these high pressure hoses so if you've got something like this it's got to go as well so we've come up with a solution for these what's the other end of that fitting mate Here these hydraulic fittings so the way we're going to repair this we're going to demonstrate how to repair it you can do this in the field we can do it back in the workshop. And we need to start off with just removing this hose. So get yourself a pocket knife, preferably a nice sharp pocket knife. Get rid of it. Now you want to cut off fairly flush too, it's quite important, because that's going to fit up inside this thing neatly. Just throwing that water out. And another tip when you're doing this is to just chamfer this edge. So you need a nice sharp knife, but just come around and take a little bit of this off all the way around because that's going to make it pop into this hydraulic fitting a lot easier. So just take it back like that. It doesn't have to be too deep because it's going to be here. Now, this has got a really coarse thread in here. And that's what the hose is going to go into. It's a left-handed thread. So for those Kiwis out there, that doesn't mean you use your left hand to put it on. It means you've got to turn it the other way. So if you have trouble putting this in, because some of these hoses get a bit tough, you can put a little bit of lubricant on it if you want, but generally you don't have to. You just spin that in like that. You need a little bit of pressure on that, but I've got office hands and I can do it. So now that's pushed right up hard against this fitting. Okay, well now comes the, the difficult bit. Shane, you want to give it a hand, mate? Now, this tail, has to be pushed into there. And if you've got a vice or something in the workshop, it's quite easy. But out in the field when you don't, you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to put some pressure onto this. He's gonna apply a heap of pressure onto that, and I'm gonna start screwing this tail into there. Now, to make life a bit easy, you want to put a bit of lube on that. So improvise, get a bit of hand soap from your from your truck. Um, you can get a bit of engine oil, a little bit of engine oil. We just opened this up before, a little bit of engine oil out of your um, out of your motor, either the car or the pump here, we'll do the trick. Doesn't have to be excessive. Now we put that in there so when the fun starts. Shane's gonna put a fair bit of pressure on that. This is why it's a two-man job. And then I'll start winding it in. Now this is not a left-hand thread. This is a little right-hand thread. Starting your chain? Not quite. Makes a fair bit of pressure. Notice Shane's got his gloves on just in case he slips. So once that's started off, we're right to just keep on turning that in. So actually one bloke could probably just do it from here on. But 
So that's going all the way into that hose, putting the pressure in there so this fitting just won't come off. We've checked it with the hydraulic people and they said this is the one for the job. There we go. That's it. So that's fixing the field. So now it's just a matter of getting your unit getting this piece. Taking that off. Taking that off. No, I'm just whacking the new one. Put a bit of thread tape on there if you have to, but that's no different from any normal repair in the field. That's it. So remember. You got these on there, get rid of them. If you got these bandit clamps on there, get rid of them.